Hello and welcome to my channel Becoming Bev. In today's video, I'm basically going to give you the evolution of my van. Many of you know that when I bought the van, I paid $5,500 for it and bought it from my best friend Yvonne. It's a 2004 Chevy Express 1500 and it had about 145,000 miles on it. So my van has basically had three builds and I'll tell you about the evolution and a little bit about each build. The first build was a trip to Home Depot, a couple hundred bucks in supplies and a couple of days of my time. So basically it was just taking two by fours and building a bed platform. Now at that time, I also spent about 1500 bucks on gear, like supplies that I felt like I needed for the van. I bought an O-Polar fan. I bought a Gas One Butane propane stove. I bought a cassette toilet, a 500 watt Jackery, some camping chairs, and a car refrigerator. And looking back, I think it was smart to do it that way. And it was good because I got to get in the van without spending a lot of money just to see if I would even like it or not. So as it turns out, I absolutely love it. <laughs> so the next round that I did, I took the van to Griffin Automotive in Bontier, Missouri. They installed the rooftop air conditioner. They redid the electrical system in the van and put a couple of outlets up in the cubbies. They also put an outdoor plug on the van and built the first kitchen cabinet with a sink and running water and a, a little water pump. Got a swivel seat installed on the passenger seat. I really love it. When I turn that seat around, it makes the van feel very roomy and kind of gives me the feel like I have a living room. This first round of upgrades, I also put in a new stereo, new headlights, uh, airbags because the extra weight in the van. I've upgraded my shocks. The van was very bouncy when I was driving down the road. And right away I realized I needed a backup camera. We added a cargo rack on the back of the van, got a 3500 watt generator, and I was good to go. There were things that I ended up loving about that build, and there were things that I ended up wanting done differently. As it turns out, I hated that big cargo rack on the back of the van and that 3500 watt generator. I was able to down size to a 2000 watt generator which fits inside the van. So since then I've decided that I like everything that I need inside the van and if it doesn't fit in there then I don't need it. The next round of upgrades that I did was with my friend Larry from Ramblin' Man Conversions. We basically gutted the van and started almost completely over. In that build I got these beautiful kitchen cabinets I got an induction cooktop. We redid the entire bed platform. So now it has pull out drawers with locking mechanisms on there. I have a better garage area so the van stays more organized. We also added what I'll call the guts of the van. We went with a 200 amp hour lithium battery uh, made by the company SOK. And we actually went on a waiting list for that battery. The battery is priced quite a bit cheaper than some of the pop, more popular brands, but we felt like it was the most bang for the buck. So I've totally been loving this battery that I got from SOK. And I'll put a link in the video description for that. That time we also added a Renogy battery charger and an inverter. That gives me enough power whenever I'm off grid to run absolutely everything that I need without being plugged in. On the third phase of my build, I also got a new shower set up. And if you saw my shower video, you understand why I needed that. I wanna show you how my new shower setup works. So I keep my shower curtain and the shower nozzle and hose in the bag right here on the back of the sink. I have my shower hose and nozzle. I just hang it right here. So it's pretty easy to just slip this attachment in the notch right there and hook that up. Then I turn on the shower pump. So I bought this bamboo shower mat. Now I also use it for a front door mat. Whenever the ground is a little bit damp and I don't want to track things in and out of the van, I have this collapsible bucket which helps with storage. I just fill this with water. I set that on the ground. Then I have the suction hose. So I dip the hose down in the bucket. Now the next thing I do is hang up my shower curtain. 
I figured out that it works better if you hang the shower curtain long ways instead of the way that it's normally hung. And I use these clips to hang it up. So there's lots of things to clip the shower curtain to. So right now I'm gonna clip it on my, uh, on my shades. And then just pull it around and hook it on this side. And then I'm ready for my shower. After that build, I was off adventuring again. I spent time in Madison, Wisconsin with my friend Diane, and at the time she was staying in an extended stay hotel, so I just slept in the parking lot of her hotel in my van. It worked out good except that it was just a little stuffy inside the van. So after that, I had a Max Air fan installed, and I gotta say, I'm really impressed with this. Unless it's super hot outside and I'm plugged in, I don't need the AC anymore. That Max Air fan does a really good job keeping the van cool. Now the next thing that I decided that I wanted was new flooring. The other flooring that I had in the van was just like linoleum, and I think it was even rolled over the carpet that was in there. So it was just kind of squishy, and the linoleum had gotten a couple of tears in it. So I love this new flooring. Uh, my friend Jeremy here from the campground put that in for me, and I'm so appreciative. I feel like I took this $5,500 conversion passenger van and turned it into something I consider my home. When I wake up in here, it makes me smile and it really has become my little tiny house on wheels. This isn't my only option, obviously, for a place to live. Many of you know I bought a campground in Southeast Missouri, but the van is my home of choice. Like it feels like it's where I'm the happiest. I love that everywhere I go, I have everything that I need with me. I love just being able to go where the wind blows me. If I get an invitation that sounds interesting, I love saying yes. I love that I get to see new things and meet new people. And I love those moments that take my breath away when I see something so beautiful and I feel so much gratitude to get to see that and to be in that place at that time in that moment. So am I done fixing up the van now? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the million dollar question? <laughs> I feel like my van is very comfortable now to be in it full time. Um, but if you ask anyone who owns a van, they'll tell you I'm never really done. So I think I've covered all the upgrades on the van, but I'll keep you posted. You keep watching and I'll keep posting content. But I'm also here at the campground. I want to just give you a little peek at what I'm sitting here looking at. And then, and then, little, 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 and then, why can't I say this? And the linoleum, and the linoleum. <clears throat>